Hi, my name is Aries, and I'm a creative writing major and a senior here at Oberlin College. My name is Mayan. I'm a junior cinema studies major, and I'm also a photographer. And we are going to show you the tall and short of Oberlin. Good morning. Hope you guys are ready for breakfast. We're gonna go to downtown Oberlin and get some breakfast at Black River Cafe. They have the most delicious pancakes in the world. We're gonna have breakfast with Daniel and Kate. Oberlin Science Center has more lab space than class space. So let's head into one of those labs and see what's going on. Hi, I'm Alex Ducey and I'm here at the Oberlin Science Center. Uh, I'm on the first floor where I work in a neuroscience laboratory. Basically what we do is we compare the brains of other species to human species or just between each other. We work with ray finned or teleost species of fish uh, like goldfish or a number of other common species. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm trying to find out what one particular structure in their brains called the optic tectum is connected to. That's important because I'll be able to publish that information. And here in Oberlin, we have a lot of opportunity to do that. Because we're a college, we work with the professors and we're able to publish and produce large libraries of brains like this and then publish our results. And that gets you recognized in the field. It's something that was very important for me when I was deciding where to go as a science student. I'm sorry, I have to go. I have class about two minutes ago. Bye, I'll see you. Thank you. I'll see you in a minute. Ah! Let's head over to Ben Schiff's colloquium on Israeli Palestinian conflicts. The class puts current events in their proper political context. This is the current meeting of APAC in Washington, a, a pro Israeli uh, organization that's, I think, winding up its meeting today. Oberlin is also equipped with a conservatory of music. Conservatory and college students share the campus. We live in the same dormitories, we eat in the same dining halls. College students can participate in ensembles in the conservatory, and conservatory students can take classes in the college. Let's take a peek inside of the practice room and see what people are playing. Allen Memorial Art Museum is the third largest collegiate art museum in the U.S., second only to Harvard and Yale. The museum is free, it's open to the public, and it serves as an educational resource to both the community and the college. So that nap from this morning is really not cutting it anymore. Uh, I think I'm gonna head over to Asia House and go to Mieko and Sanjana's room and take a nap there. Oh, hey, I'm studying, but you can come on in. Asia House is one of Oberlin's program houses. Um, program houses have a specific interest of the people in it. So this means it's either for students of Asian descent or students who are interested in Asian cultures. Oberlin has 22 Division III varsity sports, 11 men's, 11 women's. As a Div III school, Oberlin athletes actually have time to do things outside of the field. That said, they hang out all the time and form beautiful, wonderful, very tight families. Besides varsity sports, Oberlin offers a number of club sports, including women's rugby. Club sports are student coached, so students run everything from practices, uh, they book hotels for tournaments, and they come up with team cheers. Yeah. Cool. Hey! Ready, sit, cross, tap, pause, engage! Yeah. Hold, 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 Right now you're watching Capoeira Angola, a Brazilian martial arts dance style. Uh, this is a class taught by Justin Ameca in the theater and dance department. Well, I'm really hungry now, so let's go to Harkness for Pizza Night. Pizza Night is run by Oberlin's Co-ops. Um, the Co-ops are a multi-million dollar corporation 
run by students. So students handle every aspect of dining from cooking to cleaning, recycling, composting, everything, including making really, really good pizza. <laughs> So right now we're watching La Lienza Latina practice for Colors of Rhythm, one of Oberlin's many student-run dance concerts. Right now we're in the Academic Commons of Mud Library, Oberlin's main library on campus. It has 2.1 million books and open shelving. Right now in the Academic Commons, students are getting done their homework, writing papers, and making sure that they have all of their work in order. Yeah, yeah. So here's some of the other things that happen at Oberlin. Volunteer work, soccer, field hockey, O Circus, TGIF, practicing, day of service, conjure dancing, gamelan, junior recitals, senior recitals, ginkgo kittens, student art shows, convocation speakers like Frank Rich, Stephen Sondheim, and Diane Rehm, Overtones Acapella Group, student bands at the Scout, composition recitals, student written operas, volleyball, fencing, O Steel, film screens at the Walpole Library, sketch comedy, visiting, visiting lectures, the Moon Festival, and student ensembles. Even still, that's only a tiny, tiny bit of what we do. So you should come and visit me and my aunt at Oberlin and see what you'd like.